So if you haven't seen my keychain flamethrower video yet, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. As of right now, it's kind of in pretty bad shape. This uh, little tab here that I used, like a little hook, um, that solder sort of broke, so it's kind of just rotating around. And honestly, a lot of people were having a difficult time figuring this one out. The biggest question was, what kind of stapler? Like, I thought that would be the least common question. But it's really any stapler that works. Um, it could be the largest one, it could be the smallest one. This one I got from the dollar store, and it was just a mini stapler. It's really not that complicated. But we're going to ditch that, because I was just not the greatest idea. But I found a way to make it even more compact. And it uses the same butane, but instead of coming out of the back... It'll be coming out of the front. Now, if you haven't seen my flamethrower yet, I'll show you a link to the in the description for that. But it exploits the fact that I'm using the butane. See how it's coming out in a mist? That's a liquid butane. Now, the same effect can be found in these guys if you press the top. So, ergo, simplified version. Instead of having this huge tank, you have this, which comes from these lighters that you can find at a dollar store. They just kind of look like this. Pretty simple. That's actually backwards. Um, almost every dollar store has these. Just the black, refillable. Make sure it's refillable. You'll see on the back, you'll see it looks like this. That's how you can tell it's refillable. There'll be a little valve there. And so by using this, you don't have to make that hook anymore because the butane's already able to escape through the nozzle. Now, this looks almost identical to this, but what changes the difference between a gas and a regular lighter? Inside of every lighter, there is this little filter. It looks like a straw. And there's also this little cardboard pad. Now what these do is inhibit the gas from being released as a liquid. It's kind of like a porous straw sponge and once you remove that you get your you can get a flamethrower. Now what you can do if you're quick enough um, you can see in here I've removed both of them. You can unscrew the cap don't worry about it exploding or anything because there's n unless there's a flame nearby and it'll start to fizz but then you can shake it real quick the gas will be released it will shoot out this little wick and if you're quick enough you should be able to get at least half of the lighter still full of butane and then you can use it for the, the trick if you can't find this lighter but the problem with this is you can't fill it nice thing about this is you can refill it so what I'm trying to do this is a prototype I'm going to take this sort of exploitation of the spark wheel and apply it to this which should be pretty simple but I'll show you real quick how it works I'm also going to be using these jet lighters as the pilot light so basically a simplified version of what I'm saying I'll just demonstrate it Okay, so there's your lighter. Okay, so can you see it? What I'm going to do eventually is either tape this or make some type of model to hold everything in place so that'll be kinda like a trigger and I mean this is a prototype like I said but it's pretty good it's gonna work so you got this now if you notice that lit on fire so that's not good either. 
Um, what I'm going to have to do is make some type of flame guard. But... Um, and the nice thing is, like I said, you can refill it. So, you just take your butane. And it's full. And then, shake it up a little bit so the gases are able, doesn't even matter really. So I'll show you again. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Pretty decent flame. Still got some fuel left in there. So you guys understand the point. If you want to go ahead and just start where I left off. Try and make it yourself. But this is just giving you guys a little idea. Um, possibly give me some feedback. What you think any ideas of how I can make everything work. So it's pretty simple. Thanks for watching.